Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Al Jabri from the Royal Oman Police. Thank yes. you so much for joining me. Thank you. Uh, it's you my were pleasure. presenting in the session yes. just finished. Yes. Tell me a little bit about um, what you were talking about today. Uh, yeah, we were talking about the smart ID card, uh, about this project. Mm -hmm. When we launched it, Oman was one of the pioneer countries in the region to introduce the smart ID card. Uh -huh. And we launched it in phases approach in early 2004. Okay. Uh, in terms of the location and in terms of the applications itself. And therefore, uh, we were allocating uh, step by step our resources in order to, launch, uh, to launch uh, the accurate applications and the accurate in the, in the specified uh, locations mm -hmm. where we can serve our people there. Okay, and in terms of the, um, the population, what proportion of the population are registered within the, uh, within uh, all, the system? Almost the whole uh, populations. Sorry? The all? Uh, all populations of Oman are registered okay. in, in our uh, national registration system. As I mentioned, that's in, from 2004, mm -hmm. we started uh, to introduce the smart ID cards for Romanis mm. and for uh, expatriates, okay. plus issuing uh, the birth certificates and the death certificates. Uh, okay. certificates. And for all of these uh, documents, we have a, a civil number, which is unique starting from the birth certificates to the death certificates. Okay. So, so it's easy to, to us to identify any, 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 anyone, mm. any human beings in Oman by his uh, unique uh, civil number. His unique identity number. And um, in terms of deploying that system, what, what applications is, is the, uh, the smart ID deployed for? What, what can the citizen do with their identification? Yeah. Uh, we, uh, there are uh, so many applications in it. Uh, ID applications. Mm -hmm. Then we've integrated the driving license. Okay. Then we've added uh, the e gates applets. Mm -hmm. Later on, uh, the e pass applet where it can be used okay. as uh, prepaid uh, cards. Okay. Then the e voting applet for uh, the Shura Council. Mm -hmm. and the municipalities uh, elections uh, and uh, last uh, uh, it was uh, the e-health the e applet okay. and other ways uh, the PKI the PKI okay system. okay so anything where the um, where the citizens connecting with the government connecting with health connecting with Border control. They're using their e-identity. Their, yes. their smart yes. identity. Yes, we have a comprehensive, accurate database mm -hmm. for all, for all the citizens in Oman, and it's under one umbrella, which is a ROP. Right. So right. even uh, even for the driving license, for the, the, uh, for the passport and residence, for the visas, yeah, and for uh, the IDs, yeah. We have uh, big, very big and integrated uh, databases yeah. where uh, there is uh, data migration and synchronization within it. Okay, and is the project done as a, um, as a, a government, um, government funded, government managed product, uh, project or is it public and private partnership together? Uh, it's a, it's a government uh, public project. It's government. Yeah, and funded by project. the governments yeah. solely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And what about when, um, for example, other organisations like banks want to have access to the data? Is there is there a, a public partner, public yes. private partnership? Yes, we have uh, we have non disclosures agreements with the banks uh -huh. or any private sector entities where they can use our ID card. And they, they can have the access mm. 
to this uh, uh, to the data, specified data, yeah. specified fills between uh, between the governments and this and entities, the entities, in order to have access to such data. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, we have non-disclosure agreements between us, where uh, they cannot uh, yeah. violate any uh, privacy yeah. data. Yeah. Uh, furthermore, they can use. Uh, uh, we distributed the SDK card readers with, uh, where any banks can authenticate or any telecommunications company can uh, uh, authenticate the ID by using it, by reading the card okay. and, uh, and the and fingerprints the fingerprint. again okay. uh, together. So the fingerprint is the key biometric yes, that you're, yes, that you're yes, currently yes, using. Yes. And, and in, in developing those systems and um, bringing it to your citizens in Oman, yeah. were there any challenges you think are specific to the region in terms of cultural or, or uh, environmental challenges that made it, made it difficult in that particular area? Do you mean uh, within, uh, within... Within Oman and within... The other GCC countries? Yeah. Actually, we have a GCC steering committee for the smart ID card, mm -hmm. where uh, we are trying our uh, our best in order to unify the specification and the measurements of the cars, okay. and unifying the applications, where at the end we reach as one joint uni unified. Uh, smart ID card between the GCC countries, okay. likewise the European country. Okay, yes. that, that interoperability, yes. just within the region, but also internationally, is really important to any, any yes. ID scheme, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yes, Okay, well, Colonel Abdullah, thank you very much thank for talking much. to me. Thank you for your time. It's my pleasure, thank you very and much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Oh, thank you.